I'm actually doing this. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Hi guys, and I am currently in my dorm room right now, but I am making my very first YouTube video, and my friends are probably so excited because I have talked about doing this for so long, so what better way to start off my channel with a little Q&A so you guys can like get to know me and like know what you're going to be seeing in the future and stuff. So the first question someone asked me, or... Actually, this is a funny story. I feel like I should explain this because, like, people are going to be like... So, about a year ago, I was going to make my first YouTube video. And I didn't because I don't know why. <laughs> I just didn't make it. Like, I had all these people ask me questions and then never made the video. Which is, like, really annoying because I was always so into this. And then I just never followed through with it. And I'm really happy that I'm following through with it now. But the first question is, what is your name? And where do you go to school? So my name is Lexi Pritchard. I am a sophomore at Santa Clara University and I just entered my winter term and I'm loving it. Okay, so the second question someone asked me is what is your major? Um, my major, sorry, I don't know why I hesitated, like I don't know my major. Um, I'm a communications major. I figured that out like a couple weeks ago. But yeah, the field just really interests me. Just getting started and kind of just taking courses um, involving that. So next question. What's it like being a Division One athlete? Honestly, it is stressful. It is hard. It is also very rewarding and you figure out a lot about yourself and you learn how to manage your time and you kind of learn how to take like mental breaks because it is really um, mentally challenging being an athlete, especially just being in college. I feel like this is a time in our lives where we're changing. Everyone's kind of going through different things. Um, you're leaving your friends or you're making new friends and you're leaving your family behind. And like I said, like college is just a really hard time and there's a lot that happens in that four or five year gap. But honestly, I think that it's a super rewarding being a college athlete but it's also really hard and you learn a lot about yourself just like anybody does i will make more videos regarding being an athlete in college and kind of taking you guys on the road or what i do in a day like what i eat in a day kind of things like that it's a lot of fun it's challenging it's a roller coaster of emotions but definitely worth it okay so next question is do you have any siblings and parents uh, yes, I do have parents. Uh, that's kind of a weird question now that I think about it. But yes, I do have parents. Um, two happily married parents. They live in Oregon. Their names are Terry and Melissa. And then I have three siblings. And they are all older than me. I have an older sister named Taylor who is 29. I have two brothers who actually are in college right now. Their names are Peyton and Anthony. They play basketball and attend the University of Oregon, which they love and they're having a great year and we're both in basketball season right now so definitely a tough time for all of us kind of just getting to see each other and getting to socialize with uh, one another or just like getting phone calls it's definitely a hard time Peyton is a senior this year and Anthony is a fifth year the next question I got was do I miss Oregon and this is my favorite thing about being in California I do miss Oregon I do um I think I just more miss like my friends and my family but I've made so many great friends here and my family comes and visits whenever they can and comes to my games whenever they can. It's kind of hard since my brothers all play basketball and so like kind of learning how to balance going to each other's games is hard because we play on the exact same day. But my parents do a great job of like managing that. But yeah I think that that's what I miss most about Oregon. Like I love being in California. That's pro my favorite thing about being in California is just getting away and like this is my own journey and I also love the weather it's great way better than Oregon's winter sorry to all my Oregonian friends watching this but I love being here the weather is so amazing it's so great but yeah of course I miss Oregon I miss all my friends um and my family but it's kind of like a new chapter in life and I've been enjoying it so far next question I got is favorite place to shop gosh this is actually kind of a tough question I I don't really, actually I do have a favorite, Aritzia. I don't know if everyone's heard of Aritzia, but oh my gosh, is that my favorite place ever. Like, I love it so much. If it wasn't expensive, I'd probably own everything in that store. <laughs> but Aritzia and then Nordstrom's, just because like, I don't like about Nordstrom's, like they literally have everything. And then Nike, I'm a big Nike girl, just super comfy. If I could wear Nike every day, I would. I mean, I can, but it's always nice to like change it up a little bit, but yeah, those are probably my three favorite stores. So the next question was, what are my favorite movies? Uh, the Notebook. That's my favorite movie. Um, I have always loved The Notebook. It is 
so good I'm into romantic movies uh, romance movies because I just love love honestly like I'm such a sucker for that stuff um, but that's always been my favorite movie I could watch it over and over again probably recite it to you guys but yeah I love it so the next question on here is what is your biggest regret and why <laughs> I don't actually know it's actually funny that this question popped up because I was just talking about this with my roommate and I genuinely didn't have any regrets. Like, there has been obstacles and they've been really hard but every obstacle like I'm really big in faith and stuff and so I believe that God puts every obstacle in your life for a reason and that's why I think that there is no regrets because without everything that I've experienced it brought me to where I am and to think like if I would have changed one thing I'd be somewhere totally different is kind of scary because I love where I'm at. I love the person I am today. I think that all the good, bad, hard times have really made me who I am and have shaped me to the person I am. So no, I don't really have any regrets. But I'm sure, yeah, I would want to go back and maybe change some things. But do I regret every anything that I've done? No. Probably not. So, sorry. I wish that I could give you a better answer than that. But that's all I got for that one. Next question is... What are some of the things we're going to be seeing on your channel? You guys are going to be seeing whatever you guys honestly want to see. I mean, some of the things that I'll post, like, before you guys kind of tell me what you want to see. I think I'm going to be posting a lot of, like, traveling on the road with me, doing a day, kind of, like, being an athlete. Like, what do we do in a day? A lifestyle or, like, hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, skincare. I don't know if you guys want to see that, but if you guys want to see that, I would be more than happy to show you guys that. Maybe like clothing hauls, things like that. So honestly, I'm just kind of winging it. There's nothing like I've really thought about like specifically putting on there. This is just going to be a channel of everything, like whatever you guys want to see. And I'll leave my Instagram down below or in Twitter and stuff. So if you guys want to like DM me and let me know like what you guys would want to see, I'd love to do that too. So then I can kind of get a grab on like what you guys are wanting to view on my channel or recommendations that you guys have for me. The last question that someone asked me is what do you want to do after you graduate from college? I have no idea. I don't know what I want to do. I think that I have things like I change my mind all the time and that's one thing I've noticed about myself. I'm really indecisive and new things catch my attention every day. I don't know if I'm going to stay in California or go back to Oregon or go somewhere else but I don't know. I don't I really don't. I mean if this vlogging thing took off that'd be really cool but I really have no idea what I want to do. Hopefully I start to figure that out soon, but I have two years, thankfully, to kind of narrowing down options and stuff and where I want to do internships. But yeah, that's the end to this Q&A. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit boring. It's just kind of like getting to know me, but like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, which will be right here, and I will be back with more videos. Peace out, guys.